on Friday, February 23rd, 2004, based on credible information, our tactical team successfully located the shallow grave of Gift Okpara, also known as Tubaba. He is a notorious Iceland court leader in Ebras, Aoda West River State. We were able to recover the corpse of Tubaba, who was responsible for the brutal murder of the former DPO of Aoda Division, late Superintendent of Police Baku Angbashim, who was killed on September 8, 2023, in Odumode community, Aoda East, local government area of River State. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to everybody who took part in this operation, particularly our dedicated tactical teams and the IRT team from Abuja. I want to extend my special thanks to the Nigerian Air Force for their invaluable support. Their area strike on Tubaba's camp on February 10 resulted in significant casualties among the gang which facilitated our subsequent operations. The Air Force came and assisted us to soften the ground, and that made it easy for the police component to have access into Tubaba's camp. Furthermore, the River State Police Command acknowledged and thanked the governor of River State, Sasimilaye Fubura, GSSS RS, for his unwavering support throughout this operation, his commitment to maintaining law and order in our state is commendable. I want to take the opportunity to commend the officers involved in this operation. They have shown extraordinary dedication and resilience. Their hard work and perseverance were driven by the expectation of the Inspector General of Police, IGP Kao de Egbetokun, PhD, MPM, who sought success in bringing Tubaba and his gang to justice. So when I pushed you, I was being pushed by the Inspector General of Police. My gratitude to the Inspector General of Police, IGP Kao Degbetokun, PhD MNM, for his unwavering support and invaluable advice throughout the operation. His guidance and leadership have been instrumental in our efforts to combat criminality and maintain peace and security in the state. It is crucial for our citizens to recognize the importance of collaboration and support in our fight against crime. We urge the public to continue to provide us with timely and accurate information that can aid in identifying and apprehending criminals. Together, all of us can create a safer environment for all of us. I want to assure the residents of River State that the River State Police Command remains committed to the safety and security of our state. We will continue our operations to apprehend other members of Tubaba's gang and dismantle any remaining criminal network. We call on the public to remain vigilant and report any suspicious activity to the authority. The corpse of Tubaba has been recovered and it has been brought to the command uh, for the media to have a sight of. The necessary identification has been done to some extent and the others we, call, we follow in earnest. Thank you so much for taking your time to come and thank you for listening. Thank you so much. Okay, sir. Uh, there were, we had stories of uh, 160 governors. Would like you didn't mention that. Would like you to speak to that, sir? Uh, you, your question has to do with the 100 million bounty yes. placed on Tubaba's head. Yes. I have spoken with the governor, and the governor assured me that the 100 million will still be made available to people who took part in the operation. Okay, sir. My name is Mawadi. I work with Classic FM. Uh, we had we had the police uh, accused Tubaba on one hand of killing a uh, Bakwan machine. We also had the police institute a case against Ellis Lehi of same killing of uh, this Bako arm machine. So um, now that you have confirmed the killing of Tubaba and uh, ascertained that it was Tubaba that killed Bakwan machines, is there any way that you'll be able to uh, withdraw the case against the other persons uh, who were also accused of killing uh, Bakwan machine? My case is in court. Investigation is a continuous thing, and I will leave it at that. Sir, I'm that. Uh, you were commending other people that 
blame the for a police to make the death for uh, this person. He didn't comment the press. <laughs> 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 Yes, forgive me. That's a very delicate um, oversight for me. Forgive me. I want to use the opportunity to thank members of the press. You have been so invaluable in this fight against not only Tubaba, against all forms of uh, criminality. I thank you for all you do. The press, the press put us on our toes. You ask questions every second. You talk about it on your radios, in the papers, and on the television. The question you ask me at every time you see me, whether on, on your network or see me on the street is, where is Tubaba? I think today we have been able to put it to rest. Tubaba is waiting for you to cite down there. <laughs> 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 Thank you. When Tupac was killed, you told us the processes, the road and all that. But today, that the body has been put free by the combat. Can you tell us how what about that? Was it as a result of another raid? Yeah, you know, we finally decided to uh, have entrance into Tubaba's camp. We sought the assistance of our sister agencies, especially the Nigerian Air Force. We did a lot of technical things that I may not be able to say in public. We gave the result of these technical, technical things that we did to the Nigerian Air Force, and they were very happy about it. They told us the actions, um, our information was actionable, and then they put it into action. They came and did their area strike, which went on very well. In other language, the Air Force came and assisted the police to soften the ground. After making the ground softening for us, we decided to uh, assault the camp of Tubaba. And very early in the morning of the 17th, we assaulted the camp to do a clearance. And then um, we had the first battle with them. Uh, they escaped with um, bullet injury. A lot of recoveries were found in their camps. Arms were recovered and many, many other things. So while they were escaping, along the way, they were destroying petroleum pipelines until they got to Ibra's side of um, our other west. And don't forget that a lot of them have um, received gunshot injury. They have received uh, injuries from the attack from the Air Force and um, the stress and many other things some of fell by the, by the wayside and that is the story. Uh, sir, how was the, the last body question. Yeah. This is the last one. How was the body recovered? Yes, you know, after two Baba died, his gang members went away with the body. And they were moving from one part of Auda East to the other, evading arrest. Finally, because uh, we kept the police caught on, they were, not be, they were not able to move out of that area. So they had no choice than to take him further into the forest of Ibras. Ibras is in our other west. So they took him far, far into the forest, dug a shallow grave, and they put him there. It took us time, work, and intelligence to be able to locate the place. He was found in the grave, and um, yesterday night, say about uh, seven, seven o'clock in the evening, our officers finally had access to where the body was buried. They found the place, still no grass on it. They identified it immediately. Uh, they put um, some bottles of drinks, alcohol on it, probably they used for ritual before they left, and they left uh, an army camouflage on the burial site. So making it very easy for us to identify it at the end of the day. So into the area took officers over one hour to assess and over another hour to come out of the, of the forest. Well, I must say the police authority has done so well. Um, the death of Fang Bashin occurred on the 8th of September. And I must say, um, it's up to four months now. I consider it just a reasonable time, you know, to bring down the man that occasioned the death of Fang Bashin. And so I want to say a very big thank you to the IG and to the CP, you know, for making this possible. Yeah, Council Chairman, uh, there is this insinuation that uh, what the police is telling us is like uh, a mirage. 
can you confirm to us as a chairman of that council that this is actually the dead body of the two baba? To the best of my knowledge, this is Tubaba. From the photograph, um, from uh, the tattoo on his left hand, you know, the photographs we've been seeing, this, this is Tubaba. Chairman, sir, so what is the feel of the people of uh, your area now that um, Tubaba has been killed? My people are happy. At least businesses can now, you know, thrive. The River State Police Command have just paraded the body of Gift Okbara, popularly known as Tubaba, who is believed to be the cult kingpin responsible for the murder of late divisional police officer of Ahoda Division, Dak Baku and Bashim. And the body is right there uh, in the truck. Now, this is a culmination of four months of a manhunt launched not just by the police, but by sister security agencies who have determined, or who were determined rather, that he must be brought to book no matter what. Indeed, it was so serious that the River State Governor, uh, Sir Seminala Fubara, placed a bounty of 100 million naira on the head of this young man and saying that whoever provides information leading to the capture or the uh, uh, death of Tubaba would get that bounty. And indeed, the Commissioner of Police has just confirmed that he is in communication uh, with the governor for the release of the bounty. The mood around here is one of uh, joy and happiness. Indeed, the local government chairman of that local government says his people are happy and that they can go about their normal businesses from the River State Police Command headquarters here on Moscow Road, Port Harcourt, Charles Uproom, Channels Television News.